Vector was created from real-world production experience to bring the tools and technology from large-scale film sets into studios of any size. It gives smaller studios and productions the ability to do real-time camera tracking, live compositing, producial market tracking, area scanning, lens calibration, and more with no development time required. Having real-time camera tracking and compositing allows the crew and the DOP to visualize exactly what the digital environment or asset will look like when it gets to post-production. This means that they can adjust things like lighting on set to match the final results. Vector was built to work out of the box with no development. The Unreal workflow is being custom built to make everything as easy as possible for the user, and the workflow has been designed to make setup very quick and easy. On the hardware side, Vector ships with two tracking sensors. This one in front of me is a passive stereo inertial sensor. It has a high resolution, which makes it suitable for tracking producial markers, track human actor positions, and scan environments to mesh objects. The second sensor is this one here. It runs a lot faster than the first one at 130 frames a second for tracking data, and it has a 180 degree field of view. It makes it much more robust to handheld camera motion or fast moves. Vanishing Point Viper is a hardware software lens encoding package that works alongside Vector or as a standalone with any other virtual production pipeline. It consists of a hardware encoder which fits to the side of your lens on 15 mil rails and gear wheels which send the data back into Unreal Engine. On the software side, Viper consists of a lightweight application to get set up and an Unreal Engine LiveLink plugin to stream the data from the encoder back into your virtual production projects, low latency, quickly and easily. Okay, I'm in the Vanishing Point software. I'm going to press connect to connect, connect to the tracking sensor. You see the tracking image in the top. As soon as we hit connect, the tracking data starts coming in straight away and we need to tell the sensor where the floor is in relation to itself. We use this printed blind vinyl floor sheet Press set origin and the camera will snap into position relative to that floor sheet. We set up our camera settings in this section here. Let's film back width and height and focal length. We have a drop down with a list of common camera types. If your camera is not in that list, you can set new entries in here. Now that we've done that, we have our tracking data. Now we can jump into Unreal Engine and use the Vanishing Point plugin window to spawn the data and connect to the data stream. You see the camera jump into position and we're tracking in Unreal. Now that we've done that, we can move this camera to where we want it in the level. And to assist with that, put tilt up for me, please. We can simply click on the tracking camera image and it gives us 3D locators that we can use in Unreal to align our camera with the world. Okay, now we can set our chroma key. Again, we do that in the Vanishing Point plugin. Select a color, turn the key on, and use check alpha to view the map. We can use the settings window to dial in fine details like hair and transparency. And then we skip back to see the plane. Using the color control section, we can turn on automatic despill to pull the green out of our actor. And we can adjust things like brightness and saturation to fit better into our environment. We use the time sync window to set a gen lock with the camera frame rate and the Unreal display rate. And we can turn that on and off with the toggle button. You see the custom time step shown in the corner here. And our Unreal refresh rate is synchronized with our camera frame rate. We can now move the camera back and forward. And we have a composite and 3D space. But by default, we have our actor in front of the digital background. There might be cases where we want to put an object in front of our actor, like this desk. For that, we just select the desk, jump back into the UI, and use the foreground toggle to toggle it as a foreground object. We have a three layer composite in Unreal Engine to set up very quickly and easily. The vector can also track fiducial markers using the fiducial marker integration panel. When I turn that on, you'll see that it finds the marker and it's tracking it in 3D space. That data also comes through into Unreal Engine as marker data, and we can use that to attach objects or constrain things to the markers. I'm going to create a cube here. Each marker has a unique ID. This one's marker one. So using that ID, I will select my cube, jump into the constraints section of the UI, select the ID that I want, Press to marker, and my cube is now attached to that marker. So if we move the marker around, the cube moves with it. We can use this to track simple handheld props uh, or to adjust, help with set alignment. Vector also has area scanning built in. Uh, you can use this to quickly create a mesh object of your environment. 
press start mapping, you'll see it create the mesh in this top viewport as we move the camera around, the mesh will grow. So you can walk around your space or to your camera and you'll create a mesh object of your environment. We can then stop mapping, save that file to an OBJ with or without texture. Vector also tracks actor positions. When I start actor tracking, it will find a human in the scene and track them in 3D space. Again, this data goes through into Unreal Engine. So we can see where our actors are in relation to our tracked camera, as shown. If you want to add zoom encoding or focus encoding, setup is done with this lightweight piece of software where we simply connect and set the minimum and the maximum, and then it normalizes that value and sends it through into your project. Inside Unreal, we do this with a live link plugin from the Viper plugin content folder, this blueprint. This is gonna automatically find the vector camera and adjust its settings based on the Viper encoding. You can encode focus distance changes as well as zoom. To do that, it's a small change in the blueprint where you link your camera to your focal distance nodes. You can then adjust your focus. A single Viper unit can be used to track either zoom or focus distance changes, or two units can be stacked together to track both at the same time. Vector systems are in use around the world and have been used on feature film sets, uh, TV productions, TV commercials, music videos, and interactive experiences. The Vanishing Point Toolkit opens the doors for people to get hands-on with the virtual production pipeline. Uh, we think it really is the right time for a turnkey end-to-end -end virtual production toolkit. But we see this fitting into uh, a number of different verticals, from education through to television production and uh, on-set feature use. Vanishing Point is working with Target 3D to both distribute our products throughout the UK and Europe, and we are training their staff to be able to offer support and to become the experts in Vanishing Point technology in the region.